Hi, Dan Smith, Director of Sports and Spinal Physio here. So today I'm going to have a rant. We see thousands of patients in our clinic with sciatica and back problems. Lots of these patients are coming to us with un unsuccessful treatments elsewhere. So they've either been to a clinic or seen a practitioner that's offered them treatment for their sciatica that just hasn't worked. Some of the treatments they come in and tell us that they've had include massage, ultrasound, interferential, well that went out with the arc, um, and stretches and other back exercises are just ineffective at getting them better. So before I talk about the treatments that we think are successful for sciatica, I just want to give you a bit of an understanding as to what causes sciatica. So the sciatica itself is caused by irritation of the nerve as it exits the spine. Now I've got a spine here I'm going to show you. So you can see here that there's these holes where these yellow nerves come out. If this hole is in any way impeded by say a, a disc bulge or a disc herniation or a disc prolapse or by some arthritis, that nerve that's trying to exit becomes compromised and becomes irritated. It can be a chemical irritation because of the inflammation or it can be actual compression of the nerve that's causing that. So what we're really looking to do when we treat someone with sciatica is decompress that. Now there are various ways of doing it. Um, you can go and see a surgeon who will happily chop out the offending material and that may relieve your symptoms but may not and it may leave you with some complications. You can have injections into the area which can calm it down for a while. What we like to think of doing is decompressing this area. So to decompress it, we put people on a machine called an IDD therapy machine. This gently pulls apart the vertebra above and below the disc to create space in this gap here. And by doing that, we're decompressing the nerve and allowing the nerve to be a bit happier so it's not so sore and irritating. It actually starts to settle down quite nicely. What we then do is we then put our patients on a rehabilitation program. And this program sets out to address the causes that have cause this in the first place. So normally the way that people move, sit, stand and function, we address all of that with some exercises over a course of time and this keeps them pain free and stops the, the sciatica from coming back. So if you're interested to learn how you can get your sciatica better without having massage and ultrasound and silly stretches, then why not get in touch? If you comment on the, below, the box below, say sciatica, we'll get back in touch with you uh, via private message. Uh, alternatively, you can contact us on our details which are on our Facebook page. For the time being, this is Dan Smith signing off.